Hello, my name is Alex and welcome to TechFlow. More specifically, welcome back to our first video in our new space for 2020. We're currently in the midst of moving things around, so please bear with us. Oh, and also at the end of this video, we'll bring you guys the five winners for our Sonos Play One giveaway. But for now, my top five tech at CES. Let's get straight into this. Now, CES 2020 has pretty much been about mini LED tech and big, huge 8K panels, as if there's loads of 4K content floating around there anyway. And essentially, companies trying to cram Alexa into pretty much anything, even toothbrushes. So I think we'll leave that out for now. Now, I appreciate that the majority of you will already know that Sony focused on making a car rather than making the A7S III. This is Sony's car. Sony's Samsung made an 8K panel, which is pretty much bezel-less and absolutely awesome, even though there's still barely any 4K content. And Canon also released the 1DX Mark III, which can do internal 5K recording, no autofocus though, but it can do 4K at 60. That is pretty cool. Sony, please catch up and stop making cars. <laughs> So I did my best guys amongst all of these big headliners to walk around the entire show and find some things that I just thought were cool, even from indie startups. So in no particular order, here's my top five tech or cool things of CES. Now I managed to bag a private tour of the MSI booth at CES. If you guys didn't catch our last video, the people that did seem to like to take the mick out of my new haircut, so thanks for that. <laughs> so essentially, MSI have made a laptop for creatives. Clues in the name, MSI Creator 17. We've got a 17 inch panel on here, and it's a good panel. It's a very, very good panel. So this new laptop is actually using the new mini LED tech, which allows it to get the DCI P3 color gamut 100% on its screen. It's also a 4K panel 2 and HDR 1000. Yeah, all in a laptop. USB-C ports and, here's the kicker, USB 3 ports. They're all present on this laptop. And to top it all off, it comes in this really nice white finish, which I would rock 100%. As soon as this thing actually hits the market, I'm trading my MacBook in and I'm getting one of these bad boys. Okay, so coming up next, we've got a device that I found in the startup hall. And I've actually got it on the back of my phone right here. This is called the O Snap, and they raised over 700 grand on Kickstarter. This essentially replaces the pop socket, it's cooler, and it has loads more features in a smaller, thinner footprint. Now, let me explain. So essentially this device, it sticks onto the back of your phone. Now they told me at the booth it's actually removable and you can re-stick it back on anything if you heat up the sticky on the back, which is awesome. But you click this and then essentially, it goes like that, you push them together, and then you have a hole to put your finger in. Now the kicker with this is, it solves the issue for people with small hands like myself, because it actually moves up and down the back of the phone, allowing you to reach the bottom and the top of your, well, big phone in my case. This is the XS Max. And if you guys didn't see our XS Max review, you can click right there to watch that. It's actually magnetic. So if you have a magnetic surface, you can just go ahead and stick your phone right up onto it. Great for people that are making TikToks nowadays. Is that a good line? Yeah, I love it. And now also because of its movie nature, and movie, I mean movie up and down the phone, it can actually be propped up so you could watch a movie on your phone. Pretty cool, right? Both ways. Very inventive, thinking outside the box. I like it. I think this is gonna do really, really well. That's it for my startups anyway. Now I'm sure a lot of you will know a lot about this, but Razer's brand new Tomahawk. This took my mind by storm. I think this is where computers are gonna be in five to six years time. So essentially this is a full-sized computer using an Intel NUC that actually plugs into a main control board that sits inside a really small enclosure. Now this enclosure that Razer have made essentially houses a main board with two PCI slots on it and a power supply to power both of those slots. Now you can plug in an i9 Intel NUC into one of those slots and then in the other one you could put in an Nvidia 2080 Ti or something like that and then you've got like an entire beast of a computer that's in this tiny little form factor. Like this thing was about that big. I kid you not. Powerful. 
Now you can actually put NVMe storage into the Intel Nook, so you've got two slots in there, but then on the actual Tomahawk mainboard, there's another single slot for another DIMM of NVMe storage, so you can go ahead and have, well, terabytes of fast NVMe storage for your tiny little Tomahawk. Now obviously this is gonna get expensive, but nevertheless, this is infancy for this sort of stuff. It's very, very cool. And like I say, in five, six year time, price will come down. It'll be really cool. I reckon they'll be everywhere. I'll definitely have one anyway, because then I can just bring my computer to the office. It's about that big. Oh, and also, this is a little bonus one as well. Razer also released a Wi-Fi 6 router, obviously forward thinking for this mobile future. So if you guys would like us to get that in for review when it's released, then please let us know. What I can tell you guys is I saw it and it's pretty big. So hopefully it kicks out some good Wi-Fi. Now, last but not least, we've got some bits from the LG booth. Now, I said at the start, I know a lot of you will know about the LG booth because they made a big thing about their TVs this year and big mini LED panels and huge 85-inch things. But this is actually about the gaming monitors specifically. LG have actually made a 4K gaming monitor that's got a one millisecond response time. That is a 4K gaming monitor that I would actually buy because it's all about response time nowadays. LG also made some crazy big, I don't know if you guys remember my old gaming setup when I lived in my family home, but they've made those huge 38 inch ultra wide monitors. Well, they've made a gaming edition of those monitors, which also have a one millisecond response time. So those are really, really cool too. However, they're not gonna be released until about Q2 of this year. So those are the top five things that I managed to see from different categories here at CES 2020. I'll do my best to try and get some of these things in the office this year, in the tech floor office, so we can get reviewing them and see what these things are all about. But for now, I would like to congratulate Elliot, Ryan, APC999, Brandon and Nikki, well done. You all won a Sonos Play One from TechFlow's Christmas giveaway, so well done to you. But for now guys, my name's been Alex. This has been our, well, first video in the sort of new office whilst we're still renovating, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Sonosis.